Банде Гуру Пада Дандам Бхакта Бинда Саманитам Сри Чайтанна Прабхум Банде Нитананда Саходитам Си Нанда Ван Чакал Патару Вашике Пасинда Гавача Патитанан Пабуни Бхавашна Вибьюнам Мукан Карути Вача Лан Пангун Лан Хетагирим Ядки Пата Маханга Банди Шна Бхакти Баде Деви Сатто Баттвай Наму Наму Мукан Карути Вачаран Пангуман Хеткидим Ядки Пата Маханга Банди Парама Нанда Мадва Бриндава и Тулси Девай Пиявай Кесава Сача Шна Бхакти Баде Деви Сатто Баттвай Наму Наму Нарайяна намаскитта наранчайва нараттама Девин сарасвати вясам тато жайо амудире Санкиртани кишна катху падеши Гаурия патрасшо пракаса неча Садану ракта гуру бхакти юкта Бхакти прамадакша жагодварана Дхайям сада пари бхагавна мавиштуду, Тиртас падам сива веранчану там саранья, Виртакти хам панадубанда бхабадди путам, Панде махапурушати чарна рабинда, Джаппада паллавана качанда маничатая, Биспуриджита Пурна, нурагара, сусагара, сара, мурти. Сара, дика, мы када, кипам, карус. Си, кишна, джайтана, прагунита, ананда. Си, аддайта, вада, дхарасива, сади, гаура, бхакта, бинду. Си, кишна, джайтана, прагунита, ананда. Сиад дайта гадад харасива садихи гаура бхакта бинда. Харе Кишна, Харе Кишна. Кишна, Кишна, Харе, Харе. Харе Рам, Харе Рам. Рам, Рам, Харе. Аджануллам вита худжо канака бадату, Шанкир тануй капитору камала ятакшо, Вишам бару дижа бару джугадхар мапалу, Банде ягад приякару, Каруна бадару, Хари Кишна, Хари Кишна, 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 Хари, Хари. Хари Рам, Хари Рам, Рам Рам, Хари Хари. Нама Миганге Табабад Панкаджам, Сура Сурайр Бандито Дипарупам, Буктинча Муктинча Дада Синитам. Хаван рупе на сада на рана, Ганга таранга равания за тахалапам, Гаури нирантара бивуши табахагам, Нараяма приямананга Барана Сипурапати Баджави Шанатам Ваги Саджуша Бадани Лакшмир Яшача Бакшаши Ясиасти Дэсамби 
हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे कलिम सभा जयंतार जगुण ज्ञान सार भागिन यत्रो यत्रोशंकर्तन सर्वसार्थो अभिलाते कलिम सभा जयंतारुण ज्ञासारभागिन यत्रो यत्रोशंकर्तन सर्थ सर्वसार्थो अभिलाते गौर्य गोष्ठीपति गौर्य गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड एंड भगवान इज ऑल द सेम दैट श्री विग्रह नाम एंड भगवान ऑल द थ्री थिंग्स आर द सेम डेफिनेटली इट इज द सेम श्री विग्रह इज स्वयं भगवान ओनली डेफिनेटली एंड those who are nastik who are not at all believing in god those who are pashandi they are actually speaking that there is no need to do shri vigraha seva they are thinking that it is just like a doll we are worshiping a doll in sanskrit it in bengali it is written they are speaking that this shri murti puja it is not required it is all useless to do shri murti puja shri murti puja is for them this which are according to their vichar shruti pat that shruti pat the pathway of shruti those which are written in the shruti that what is written they are actually against rathapantha they are actually speaking that all the vaishnavas of that they are worshiping shri murti shri murti puja that shri murti puja of those vaishnavas according to their vichar that uh, this is the pathway of shruti they are actually speaking that uh, the vaishnavas this murti puja of vaishnavas they they are both that the paddhati or pathway of bod it is just equal to that why because why, uh, there is a lot of story regarding rath yatra as well bhakti no thakur has written this sometimes someone is speaking that uh, this uh, bod uh, people that uh, rath yatra is going by it's just seeing that they they have just uh, that the puri rath yatra has just been uh, given so it is not like that this is totally wrong they are speaking that all those vaishnavas actually they are just doing this paddhati of rath yatra this is actually <coughs> equal to that bod paddhati that is not at all stroth paddhati they are just speaking like this they actually are thinking that their luck is actually if their luck is very good sometimes it's their luck will be good then they can understand at that day that that shri vigraha is definitely swayam avatar just to do kripa on all the jivas bhagwan is swayam getting manifested in this archa avatar and is just coming on to this material world in the roop in the form of naam in the form of archa avatar in different forms bhagwan is coming in front of us and is come in front of naam in 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 form of archa avatar in just to deliver all the bonded jivas this aprakrit jagat uh, that para jagat that whatever the vishe of this vaikunt jagat is we actually don't uh, don't know about what actually is going on there or not we don't know about that so whatever this vishe of this uh, vaikunt jagat para jagat that our material sense organs and our mind it is just beyond that and that vaikunt vastu is beyond that vastu bhagwan is beyond that and our indriya by our material sense organs it is not at all uh, can be understood by that because it is a prakriti transcendental and this uh, transcendental uh, world what this uh, vishay is we are actually speaking pratibhu actually 
by Pratibhu, they are actually by a Pratibhu form. Bhagavan, in Bhagavad Mahapurana, is already written. All this. Different kind of Archa Vigras are already mentioned in Bhagavatam. In different forms, Bhagavan is coming in this material world just to do Kripa on us. Like in the form of Shalagram, Bhagavan is coming in front of us. In Bhagavad Mahapurani, there is a proof regarding this that uh, at the river, at the Kali Gandhi river, um, it's just uh, bef- it's just coming from Nepal. That Kali Gandhi river, Bhagwan is swam, taking uh, the form, is just uh, cutting the stones, and is coming in the form of Shaligram in front of us. Bhagwan swam. How it is possible that Shaligram is so as uh, sharp and so beautiful? That uh, in this whole mud, whole earth you can't even find this kind of stone. Someone is speaking, Maharaj, we can get this kind of stone. No, it is not like that. Shalgram, especially this, it is especially found in this place only, in Nepal only. Nobody in anywhere, uh, no, you can find this kind of stone. It is also a proof in Bhagavad Mahapurana Puran as well that there is Pavani, there is one kind of insect which is just cutting that stone and is just giving it a very, very surprisingly, it is just giving that beautiful form to that stone. And Giriraj Maharaj is a swayam uh, self manifested, you can see. Is self manifested. So, Prabhupada speaking actually, Nam, Nam and Nam is swayam Bhagwan. Is that Nam is swayam is not different from Bhagwan. Nam is Sri Hari Nam is not different from Bhagwan. Whatever the qualities and symptoms and uh, qualities are there, just to. Uh, uh, just to find some differentiation in that, that is actually a Gyan. I have ju- already have just spoken this point yesterday also, that Advai Gyan Tattva, just to have this kind of vichar. When all those Mayavadis people are all just uh, speaking loudly, they don't know anything about uh, the Advai Gyan Tattva. Advai Gyan Tattva, they are just speaking that uh, this is Advaitvad, they are just establishing Advaitvad. But, uh, They are actually thinking that uh, this Addai they are speaking, it means that definitely in this Bhagwan power is the power of Bhagwan is they are actually accepting, but still that Bhavana of Addai is the, they, they are actually not accepting. They are actually thinking like that. When Bhagwan is Advai Gyan Tattva, Dwai means they are definitely not be dual conception at all. So, Bhagwan. It means that when the, there is power in Brahma, definitely that it is against that Adya Gyan Tattva. This is the vichar of them. They are actually thinking that Brahma is, Brahma has no power. Brahma is without power. They are thinking. But in Bhagavad Gita Mahapurana it is written in Brahma Samhita, everywhere it is written. In Brahma Samhita also Brahma Swayam is just speaking this point. Bhagwan actually, Bhagwan is just taking the form of Nami with all the qualities. They are just uh, having that kind of differentiation in that. They are thinking that it is not at all possible, this kind of which are they have. So they are, they don't have that kind of dharana that this Advai Gyan Tattva is there, but still Bhagwan inside there is infinity uh, kind of qualities, different uh, present in Bhagwan. That Achintya Veda Ved doesn't mean that Achintya Veda Ved, this which are what is present in front of us, if someone is actually thinking that that it is out of our material mind, we, it means that we don't want to speak anything apart from that. This Achintya Veda Ved means that the person is thinking oppositely that Achintya Veda Ved Tattva is Achintya means that it is out of our material mind. Okay, we can't think that. Which is not even uh, in our material thinking that how we can think about that Vastu. So, but we don't think that 
that uh, which is uh, uh, apart from our material thinking, which is achintya means that we can't think about that vastu. Achintya vastu means that it is out of our material range. There is one platform that on that there is actually prem my bhumika. Where is prema? We just there is loveful loveful attitude towards Bhagwan. That kind of platform they are not at all understand. They are forgetting that. That's why in Bhagwan there is uh, uh, infinity uh, diversity is there in Bhagwan, and because of this infinity diversity in Bhagwan, that Advaita and Tattva is present there. This uh, uh, Jeev Goswami Pad has written about in Vaish- uh, about the Vaishnav, and somebody actually have the very opposite thinking regarding this. They are thinking negatively that. Bhagwan, Bhag, what Bhagwan Nam qualities? Oh, it is not at all possible. Leela, etc. They are having that differentiation mind in that. Their differentiation mood is that. So because of that, uh, this Adhyayan Tattva, this is against Adhyayan Tattva. They are thinking that they will not be thinking like this. Then definitely their Adhyayan Tattva will become Siddh. But it is not like that. This is actually against Adhyayan Tattva. With our Gurudev actually speaking, that Shri Murti in Shri Murti, there is not at all any water element and five elements. Somebody actually, some people thinking that is actually made made of mud, or it is made of glass. With which element it is made of stone, or we are thinking that Shri Murti, that we are comparing it with some material element. Like uh, we are having so a lot of enjoying uh, elements are there. We are actually comparing that with that. It is not at all good. Definitely there will be aparad if we are thinking like that, and we will definitely go to hell. In Shri Vigra, it it is already written there. Shri Vigra is not at all at material element. If you are thinking material. Then apart from this, that is the topmost aparad. Just uh, because of the lack of sambandh gyan inside jivas, born in their bonded state, this kind of uh, this archa murti of Bhagwan, that it is they are getting that uh, differentiation mind inside their heart, and this is the topmost uh, durbhagya. the disadvantage for them that when swayam bhagwan who is uh, who is swayam bhagwan shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu parat par akileshwar he is swayam roop bhagwan he is this gorang mahaprabhu has already told this himself that this ishwar vigra is sachidananda kar this kind of sachidananda form you are actually this is actually the uh, form of shabd brahm shri vigra those who are not at all not understanding that to vigra conception of bhagwan and they are just thinking bhagwan nam and vigra is different then to to hari nam for them is not at all possible in their life when they have just uh, they are just thinking uh, different gurudev different from bhagwan then they can't do hari nam at all lot of time i have already spoken this point when we are speaking that the gurudev is non different from bhagwan this kind of conception is not coming then to do hari nam at that point it is not at all possible to do shuddha nam actual hari nam is not at all possible that uh, he will definitely get uh, the punishment of yamraj if he is thinking like that so if those who are speaking bud parastat means that shri murti puja they are speaking then in this vaishnav uh, philosophy it is not at all there they are actually thinking naam vigran swarup all these three things are sachidananda they are trans- on transcendental platform all these three things this actually is written there krishna ji the name of prabhu he is actually just uh, uh, taking darshan of jagannath as swayam brijendra nandan krishna and he also has done this leela of just giving us the darshan of jagannath as brijendra nandan 
सो दिस इज अ वेरी सीरियस डिस्कशन वेन इट इज नॉट गेटिंग इन टू आर रियलाइजेशन दैट श्री नाम विग्रह स्वरूप ऑल थ्री आर द सेम देर इज नो डिफरेंस इन बिटवीन दैट अप टिल दैट पॉइंट टू डू हरिनाम जस्ट टू स्पीक एक्चुअल हरिनाम इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल बट श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु वॉट हेज टोर शोनस प्रभुपाद ऑल्सो यूज टू स्पीक दैट वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू डू जगन्नाथ दर्शन वी दैट आर देर इज वन इट दे आर एक्चुअली मेकिंग वन माचा लाइक कुकम्बर एक्सेट्रा दे आर मेकिंग सम मिक्सचर एंड देन दे आर जस्ट गिविंग इट टू जगन्नाथ प्रभुपाद एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट आवर जगन्नाथ दर्शन इज वैन वी आर गोइंग टू टेक जगन्नाथ we are just having that macha darshan having that mixture darshan we are not at all having jagannath darshan when but bhagwan shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is swayam bhagwan swayam is radha lingit vigraha he is all the time just taking harinam and just taking darshan of jagannath without taking harinam bhagwan to do to do bhagwan bhagwat darshan is not at all possible yesterday we were just discussing up to this point we have just come up to this point this point and kirtan also we have done now. we have already done it and according to the proof we have just also taken some two four shlokas from bhagavatam जगन्नाथ 
there in the Bhakti Samhita Sindhu. This is the actual uh, prayer of all the devotees. This is the actual prayer of all the devotees and the actual uh, desire of all the devotees. Hey Padma Palash Lotan, Lotus Eye, O oh, Lotus Eye Hari. When uh, my situ- this kind of situation will come in my life, when uh, I will be just going at the bank of Yamuna and just by doing your Nam Sankirtan, slowly, steadily, my vocal cords will get choked. My vocal cords will become choked while just taking your Hari Nam. And Pundari Kaksha, hey Prabhu, hey Lotus Eye Hari, when I will be. When in my life this kind of uh, situation and condition will come, when I will be just at the bank of river Yamuna, will be just doing your Harinam with the very choked vocal cord, just by doing your Harinam, I will just be doing that, uh, I'll do, be dancing like a mad. Just by doing Kirtan, O oh, Pundari Kaksha, when I will be doing that Tandav Nityam, I will be dancing like mad. Someone actually can speak, I don't have this kind of consciousness. Every kind of consciousness is just, uh, I have just forgot. This is the actual Lakshan of Bhav symptom of bhav. Mahaprabhu ji, this kind of bhav of Mahaprabhu. In Sri Chaitanya Chiritamrit Mahaprabhu, each and every bhav of Mahaprabhu, whether the bhav is infinity, but still, Mahaprabhu, this kind of bhav of Mahaprabhu, each and every bhav in Chaitanya Chiritamrit, it's already told that Mahaprabhu has just shown it himself, this kind of bhav. Mahaprabhu ji himself has just told about the instructions of the six stars to come, whatever shloka is there. According to that shloka, he has just given the practical applied form. Mahaprabhu has shown us. Yesterday I also have told that uh, this is the actual prayer of Mahaprabhu that, Oh Prabhu, Thakur ji, Mahaprabhu has told this point. He is just praying on the lotus feet of Krishna. Etc. A lot of very good shlokas are there. Mahaprabhu speaking that I don't want any kind of money. I actually this want this kind of prema. That is my actually salary. That is my actual salary. Lot of times Mahaprabhu has also just manifested this kind of bhava so that we can understand this kind of bhava. That Daridra Jeevan is just my, uh, running for money, but my Prem Dhan is my own Sampati, and without that Prema, everything is uh, useless. Mahaprabhu is just thinking himself just Daridra and very uh, fallen. And without Prem Dhan, nothing is there. Without Prem Dhan, Prabhu, in my life, my life is useless. I just want to become the servant of yours. And what is your salary? Just want to become the servant and just give me that Prem, treasure only, treasure of Prem only. Mahaprabhu is just uh, appealing to Bhagwan with prayer, with full appealing mood and started crying. And I don't have this kind of Prem Priti onto lotus feet of Krishna. This is my actual situation, Mahaprabhu speaking. 
Mahaprabhu just uh, speaking that I don't have any kind of uh, prema to the lotus feet of Bhagwan, but still all those uh, material people can just uh, seeing everything. So just in order to just uh, manifest this kind of bhav, that I am such a fallen soul, that I am without any Bhagwan. How I can uh, I can just uh, maintain my life and soul without Bhagwan? It is not at all possible. Yesterday also I have just uh, taken this point. I have just uh, speaking about this point. Mahaprabhu speaking. That uh, even a smell of prem is not there inside me. When, when we are getting the grip of Harinam, automatically we feel like that. Mahaprabhu speaking that uh, in, in, I don't have even a one drop of prema at the lotus feet of Krishna. Even the smell of prema is not there. But still I am just crying for what? So that I can get that uh, happiness on the lotus feet of Krishna. That uh, how? That without Bhagavan I am actually living. How actually I am living my life? How actually I am maintaining my body? Without Bhagavan everything I am giving my nice rest and uh, uh, giving nourishment to my body. What use? It is just like uh, in full of insects and bombs. I am actually just uh, giving nourishment to this uh, material body. This is not at all good. It is all useless. There is actually no cost of that. No value of that. Without Prem, without Bhajan, just without Krishna Charan, this body is useless without that. This kind of uh, Mahaprabhu actually is just proving this point. This Mahaprabhu has actually told us. And Bhakti Nur Thakurji has also written. When I will be at the time of taking your Harinam, I will become, I will get that uh, Gopi Bhav, that uh, when um, in my eyes that continuous tears will just be flowing of Prema all the time and my vocal cords will become full of Anand and my whole uh, hair follicle will stand up erect. So this is the actual uh, example given. This actually, lot of uh, shlokas are there regarding that, regarding this. That uh, by Shri Krishna Prem Nam Sankirtan, this actually lot of shlokas are, lo shlokas are there. Gorang also has told himself. Lot of shlokas are there. These shlokas are there. Very beautiful shlokas are there. Lot of. Very beautiful shlokas are there. What it's written there? Shayam Deva Yatro Truth Kanaka Guru Karanaya Maha Prema Nanda Chalara Sabapuhu Pradura Bhavat Navati Patasmin Pradivavano Bhakti Utsava Maya Mano Me Vaikun Tat Bhupi Cha Madhuri Dhamni Ramati Yes, a lot of shlokas are beautiful shlokas have been written there. Lot of shlokas, beautiful shlokas. Pravodana Saraswati was also written about Harinam. A 
lot of shlokas bhakto what is there actually in the heart of the devotees you can't even understand lot of beautiful shlokas inside the heart of all the devotees but those all those pakhandi people they can't even understand this kind of vishay because this kind of vishay is not for them prem vishay brahmo hari katham rite prasango bahut dur lord abhi far distant thing where actually there is actually hari katha those who are doing hari katha at that place at that place that our that our heart just got melted and our all kind of satvik ashta satvik var just came but uh, that is actually written indirectly it is not at all directly written there like in bhagavad gita mahapuran we are just discussing about that it is written about bhagavad gita mahapuran that that everything uh, that vedanta that bhashya of vedanta bhagavad gita mahapurana is the actual direct commentary of vedanta it is the actual commentary of uh, uh, vedanta sutra mahaprabhu ji has told this time that about vedanta that this is the actual bhashya commentary of uh, vedanta it is in karur purana also it is written and different shastra there are lot of uh, proofs regarding this so where actually there is a prasang of hari katha there at that at there at that point there where there is actually hari katha and there is actual vishay of hari katha at that there actually our heart just got melted up and all kind of ashta satvik vikar ashta satvik vikar is actually this kind of bhav we can just uh, symptom of prema we can see in this uh, swarup in this uh, situation is actually by this shloka those whose heart is just it means that they are actually very clever these people that just by speaking just two words they are, uh, they started crying vishnu chakravarti pad also actually just discussing about this and rup goswami pad also that the person not even actually thinking of this that automatically the tears are uh, running down his cheeks coming from his eyes continuously but propadi actually speaking that this kind of actually situation has just arisen that just by speaking normal words that uh, i that tears are coming from his eyes that is pichil chakshu this is pichil eyes that this kind of bhava is just getting uh, in the life of that devotee so whatever i have just told here so what kind of bhava actually i am speaking here even one kind of bhava is is not kind of like that of a kapat person because he is actually all the time lazy and sleepy he is getting getting that kind of uh, tears in his eyes just by speaking some words and this kind of vikar of those people it is already written they are it is not at all written about those devotees but those who shuddh jeevatma those who are of krishna sevan mukh they are when they become that they are getting that anukulya sense organs towards krishna just to satisfy them bhakti that is we can see the symptom of bhakti in devotees we can just see the symptoms of bhakti in their body if someone is actually doing some kind of activity we can just see the bhakti inside him whether it bhakti is there in him or not we can see that symptom in the devotees of bhakti some by some devotee any kind of uh, uh, activity we can see that definitely bhakti is there inside him bhakti is not at all there in the sky that 2 5 kg is there we can take that bhakti is actually manifested in devotees automatically naturally and 
whatever activities they are doing just by seeing that automatically we can find that they are devotees bhakti is there but they are actually so sahajiyas and kapat vyakti are there they are actually naturally they are actually just uh, showing that external bhav and just started crying and they are prabhupad actually speaking in a joking mood do charana bhav prabhupad ji has just uh, told this story that in one uh, village there is two party of sankirtan ek party one party is actually because uh, they just want to do competition with the other party one party is already there one sankirtan party is already there and uh, just by seeing them they are just having that jealousy buff and they are with that jealousy they are just uh, having that second party and that competition is going on between both the parties and uh, the competition has come to such an end that uh, both the things they are actually those who are actually doing drama they are actually taking that person and you are there speaking to him that you see that now this is actually kirtan you just need to just have to show the bhav in this kirtan and uh, we will give me a, i'll be giving you that money charna that is chonni that is money even one rupee one rupee at this uh, at at that uh, point you can't even uh, spend for your whole month that's one person has given only 2 rupees for all mother and father has just everyone has just born from this material world but uh, just given 2 rupees to him and with that 2 rupees whole month actually this 2 rupees he is not at all going to spend he is going malai everything he is taking but still he is not able to spend those 2 rupees so this is the thing so just uh, he is actually speaking that i will give you give you 1 rupee we just need to show the bhav but in that bhava you have to show this kind of bhava that of what you just need to show more bhava than those people okay he is speaking definitely we will show no worries like this competition is going on they started kirtan like this because this bhav is actually in very nice beautiful bhav they are actually showing because they have just taken him on rent and in sampradha or some from sampradha also when somebody actually is just uh, died then they are just taking some persons on the rent just to cry <laughs> i will not be speaking the name there are sampradha there are some sampradha when somebody is die somebody is dead they are just taking uh, on rent some person so that someone can cry then then how much actually they are taking some money like 500 1000 2000 so actually according to that they are just taking the uh, people uh, to cry and uh, in front of the house they are speaking they are just crying so much like you are thinking that definitely his brother and uh, father they are actually just uh, died they are just taking it on rent that's it proper actually speaking in this competition they are actually just showing bad bhava and just by doing kirtan he is just uh, falling on the ground unconscious and just showing the bhav and uh, so much hot is there he can't actually stay for long time because he is getting uh, so much hot in that hot temperature and after that what happened he is just started fighting with them and he is saying that uh, definitely give me 1 rupees because i will not give you 1 rupee because that kind of bhava should be uh, shown at that point but you just need to show it for more time so how that 1 rupee bhav will be there for how much time he is speaking so prabhupada actually speaking that this couple uh, people this kind of bhava they are actually we are actually not at all describing that here it is different but those who are pure pure devotees who are all the time having krishna anushilan when their heart and mind is all the time there and their material sense organs and their fine body is all the time there in krishna seva that nitya bhav is aut- automatically get manifested inside their heart he is actually not doing any kind of drama this their heart their uh, fine fine heart is not at all anarthu but in the anarth yukta avastha in that situation it is not possible to have that bhav the all those pure devotees they are actually free from anarth yukta avastha the definitely this kind of prem we can find in all those pure devotees who are free from anarth so those who are komal shraddha having that shraddha which is very like soft this is 
is very soft preliminary shraddha they have any time that shraddha can break up in those devotees those devotees having very 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 light uh, shraddha which don't have any kind of maturity they can fall down any time for those devotees those having that komal uh, shraddha inside them those who having komal shraddha those having that they are just showing that artificial bhav that satvik vikar etc they are showing and manifesting in front of the people and they just want to cheat other people for them definitely this kind of anushthan suchi like this kind of uh, whatever they are showing in front of other people that is actually against pure pure devotion this should not be done at all this actually rupa goswami pad has just speaking very beautifully and krishna das kaviraj goswami also speaking that fit and each and every point and what time this kind of uh, this kind of bhav is kapad bhav what is showing you can understand that and it is impossible it is to understand but still you can understand those who are on the themselves nishkapat and under the guidance of guru vishnu maybe today or tomorrow definitely he will understand this point because uh, to opposite thing will not at all happen definitely he will understand that he is kapat after that in the seventh number shlok we have just came up come up to the seventh seventh shloka mahaprabhu each and every bhav is there uh, defined and bhakti mr thakur is just taking each and every shloka bhagavatam and giving us the actual proof shunna itam jagat sarvam govind virahe this kind of bhav that is even top most vaishnav only this kind of bhav can have this kind of bhav normal devotees they don't have this kind of bhav god kishor das baba ji maharaj some to some someone is actually that uh, so called devotee is asking to god kishor das baba ji maharaj that when we will be getting attachment to krishna bhajan and uh, when it is possible for us to do krishna bhajan how it is possible when it will be possible shila baba ji maharaj speaking that uh, you just need to cry a lot just need to cry a lot for that like uh, you are just uh, crying for all money power position and relatives wife child you are just crying when they are just going from this material world like this crying mood should be there when you will cry like that then definitely you will get krishna or kishor das maharaj speaking can you cry like that for bhagwan no not at all because uh, of uh, that uh, you are just be crying uh, out of your false mood when you will get that actual crying for bhagwan then definitely you can understand that at that point you will get krishna for other person it is not at all possible this kind of uh, kapat bhav is going on in this material samaj all 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 the way when uh, that separation mood is there with bhagwan and we will be find darkness in all this material world all in all the four directions we are finding darkness at that point that we pranamba bhav will definitely we can understand that at that point we can understand that we pranamba bhav this is not a simple uh, ordinary thing this whole material world we can find darkness in darkness and uh, apart from bhagwan this whole material world will be finding darkness only mahaprabhu speaking and bhakti mr thakur in bambrit pravasha has written this that he govind ंग ऑफ दाइम आई एम एक्चुअली फाइंडिंग दैट काइंड टाइम ऑफ 
that kind of time also is i can't even bear that so that's why it is written that hey govind that in your darshan that twinkling of the eye even a fraction of second should the uh, fraction of second should not uh, get wasted i am actually finding that that whole yug that time is going but still it looks like that time should go ahead but the time is not going it, it is already in frozen condition it looks like it's for from so much yuga i haven't taken your darshan and from our eyes there is continuous tears flowing from my eyes my water is just uh, getting down from the eyes continuously like like rain it is just coming from the eyes like in the rainy season like uh, the water is just uh, coming down from the clouds so similarly when i am just crying in uh, like that like rain water is coming from my eyes even one one fraction of second this ka it looks like that it is even fraction of second is just looks like one yuga to me and uh, lot of days before i have already told about jeev goswami pad jeev goswami pad to jeev goswami pad narottam das thakur श्रीनिवास आचार्य श्रीनिवास आचार्य जो ऑल एक्चुअली जस्ट वेंट टू जीव गोस्वामी पाद ऑल टुगेदर दे यूज्ड टू लिव देयर विद जीव गोस्वामी पाद एंड जीव गोस्वामी पाद व्हाटएवर द इंस्ट्रक्शंस गिवन जीव गोस्वामी पाद दे आर टेकिंग दैट एंड वन डे व्हाट हैपेंड शीला जीव गोस्वामी पाद हैज जस्ट पुट वन क्वेश्चन टू श्री वास पंडित he was actually given each and every question or giving a question to everyone he is actually asking that uh, there is one uh, tree there is one tree and uh, lot of uh, lot of those before on that uh, krishna leela there is one question that uh, this jeev uh, goswami pad actually asking question that this kadamb tree in uh, at the time of krishna leela this time this kind of uh, roop jeev goswami pad has written on that there is one question that uh, this kadamb tree apart from kadamb tree there are different kind of trees are there there are different kind of trees are there they are actually getting in that uh, different state they are getting uh, a very painful situation but this kadamb tree is like how it is like this he is actually all the time full of anand he is actually getting it looks like that it is full of vigor and energy so then shrinivas acharya ji actually giving answer to jeev goswami pad that this krishna has just went to mathura at that time we are just talking at the krishna leela i am not talking about this time i am talking about that time so shrinivas acharya actually speaking that uh, shrinivas acharya giving the answer that the thing is that that uh, krishna has just went to mathura and all the trees etc all actually just get separation bhav from krishna and uh, but this uh, tree kadamb tree i uh, krishna has just uh, after mat going to mathura also krishna actually thinking of this tree that this tree by mentally he is just uh, giving uh, uh, nourishment to that tree it means that uh, krishna actually thinking that this tree is just uh, close to my house and it is just uh, up till so much uh, tree this uh, this tree must have grown up up till now and actually krishna just mentally he is just giving nourishment to that tree just by thinking of that tree mentally he is just giving nourishment to that tree hey govind hey govind just by not getting your darshan it just like the whole time is just like a yuga fraction of second is just like a yuga and continuously tears are flowing from my eyes and this whole material world is just like is just zero for me nothing i am seeing all darkness i am seeing 
this kind of vibe is the, of the gopikas this is the actual bhava of radharani and apart from that this kind of bhava can't be possible in any way chaitanya mahaprabhu this kind of bhava is actually getting is actually manifesting in the form of kirtan bhakti no thakur has just uh, given one kirtan bhakti no thakur is written in bhajan rahasya there are no one has a adhikar in bhajan rahasya anyone most of the people don't have adhikar every person don't have this adhikar in bhajan rahasya but still some guru guru varg like param puja var maram go swami mahadev etc they always used to speak that uh, under the guidance of guru vishnu at least you just need to do kirtan etc then definitely you can maybe sometimes some that kripa you can get because that kirtan definitely kripa is there so that's why sometimes in the mat sometimes in the association of guru vishnu uh, we just you just need to do this kirtan there is one arrangement of kirtan given but param puja bhakti keshav kumar swami maharaj was strictly against this they don't want they are param puja bhakti keshav kumar maharaj was not liking that the siddhant vichar of keshav kumar swami maharaj is that that first you just need to do hear hari katha and sharnagati etc all these kirtan they just be go on doing they just go on doing the sharnagati kirtan kalyan kalpatru and sharnagati all they just to do no 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 they don't have the time to do this ashtakala leela because they will be thinking opposite so that's why kesh param puja vat keshav ko swami maharaj at the time of this vrat like purushottam vrat kartik vrat at that time vaman go swami maharaj all the time they were hearing uh, and discussing about hari katha that is the actual rules but param puja vat madhav ko swami maharaj and our guru var some guru var they have just been, okay you do kirtan some kirtan but uh, you just need to do under the guidance of uh, some uh, pure devotee and you just get the kripa of that bhakti no thakur that at what target we just need to go but in this all kind of uh, wrong things have just uh, spread it because nobody actually having this kind of uh, uh, eye on that so that's why bhakti no thakur ji has just uh, written this kirtan this kirtan is here so this kind actually the kirtan is here just when you are speaking the name of uh, bhagwan of bhagwan's name you are just calling slowly steadily you are what is happening in my heart that krishna nitya das this kind of bhav is actually getting inside my heart the kirtan of this bhakti no thakur bhakti no thakur wants to speak through this kirtan that you just need to do hari naam without any aparadh inside your heart krishna pita krishna dal pa krishna sansar karo chali mana char jive daya krishna naam ehi matto sar sadhu sangi krishna naam ehi matto chai No, this is the actual kirtan. So we are actually speaking that uh, just by speaking Hari Nam slowly, steadily, what has happened to me that uh, I am actually Nitya Das of Krishna. This kind of bhava is just get manifested in my heart. It means that I got Swarup Siddhi. bhakti no thakur is speaking means me this kind of nitya das i am krishna nitya das this kind of bhav is manifested inside my heart and i can just understand this point that now i can understand that the, uh, from so much long time i am in this material world i am just getting into this bondage of maya from so long and uh, i have just forgot bhagwan govind i am just getting into this maya of material bondage and i'm just uh, getting distressfulness unknowingly and knowingly and now i can understand today that this material sansar is nothing like ajamil slowly steadily by doing ram when you understand that sansar oh what is this material world he just left material world everything he just uh, 
left everything of this material world. This material world actually I am not at all finding it well today. Now where to go and where I will do Krishna Nam, where I can get the darshan of Krishna. So I have lot of tension I am getting, a proper tension. I have lot of time I have already wasted in this material world, but I am not at all getting darshan of Bhagavan. Kheri means darshan. I have lot of tension in my mind that where I will take the darshan of Krishna. And my tears are not at all, uh, uh, it's continuously flowing from my eyes, it is not at all stopping. Just like uh, rains, uh, rain is actually coming from the clouds continuously. It is all the time actually coming out from my eyes. This is not at all stopping at all. There is no point of stopping. And uh, like one, like fraction of second this time, it looks like, it looks like Satyuk. And this, this kind of Vipralamba separation bhav from I am just getting uh, uh, that uh, manifested in my heart, Mahaprabhu speaking. And up till how much, how much days I just need to uh, feel this. I can't even stay like that. How, for how much days I just need to feel that kind of bhav separation from you. And it is not possible now for me to get that. Maybe you give me Govind, otherwise I should die. After this, what kind of bhava are there? Lot of things are there. There is lot of topmost bhava is there in order to understand it is very difficult. But still, if we are not actually just thinking of this kind of bhava of Mahaprabhu, then the what we will be discussing of Harinam Chintamani, we can't understand that. So it is very important. That's why Bhakti Nava Thakur has just written the bhava of Mahaprabhu. That all this material world is vacant. It's just like uh, empty, everything is empty. And my pran, my life, I am just getting distressful, very unhappy I am feeling. Why? Because whole material world is just like uh, empty for me. Everything I am finding it empty in this material world. And my life is becoming very unhappy. I am becoming what to do, what not to do. What to do, what not to do, this kind of... Uh, no, no stability is coming inside my heart. This kind of instability is coming in my heart. All the time it's becoming unstable. I can't even sit. So much tension is there inside my heart. So much attraction is there. That uh, my life is just going out. My life is going like the Gopika speaking in Gopi Gita. Gopi, in Gopi Gita it is written, no, that uh, we are actually at the stage of uh, death. This is the actual condition of ours. So this Kirtan Gopikas are doing. We are at the verge of death, but still we are not dying. Why? Because your Nam is there. What you are, this kind of nectar you are actually just uh, giving us. Definitely externally there is uh, in Krishna Bhajan that is the actual magic that externally whatever distress is there, internally that is the topmost uh, happiness. You can't even understand. You can't understand this point now. Externally what kind of your actually life is going. You are at the verge of death, but still internally that kind of topmost anand is there. Why? Because at that separation means to just uh, get togetherness. Without separation, you can't get togetherness. And when you are getting togetherness with Krishna, togetherness is not at all possible. You, for that object, you to be uh, careful. For that object, 
I I don't have any idea. For that material, for that object, I don't have any kind of idea of that object. What is the actual utility of that object, particular object? I actually haven't understand that point. Like uh, we are actually uh, thinking the value of gold and platinum, and uh, if we, definitely there will be fighting when they will there will be some gold and platinum there. So this kind of vipralamb bhav separation boot that whatever we have that we haven't got that object inside of, there is not a kind of togetherness bhav for that object we don't have any idea for that object so how why I will be calling that uh, object why I will be taking that object I haven't seen that object and whatever will be there I don't know the value of that object particularly so that kind of uh, that kind of uh, attraction will not be there for that particular object like you can see this uh, krishna prem that by bhagwan nam why because all those material people they don't know the actual utility of krishna nam the material people they don't know they know the value of land property money education they know this all diamonds and gold jewelry they don't know in front of these monkeys Sita Devi this vichar is topmost I don't want to give this kind of vichar in front of you but in front in front of all those monkeys you are just giving the necklace of jewelry but if you will give him uh, one rupee banana he will become very happy Hanumanji Maranji is just giving f- f- one leela in front of us when he Hanumanji was giving the just giving that uh, mala of jewelry but he is just cutting it with his uh, teeth why because where there is Ram Sita in each and every uh, mala of that jewelry so that bhav is very much topmost our three Vikram Maharaj always used to speak that Param Pujabad Madhav Goswami Maharaj and Bhakti Vratit Goswami all used to stay one together and they are speaking about those material people this point they always used to speak that uh, about those material people what they used to speak that in Dakai in Dakai Bengali Bhasha language they used to speak just monkey always knows banana you are giving banana then he is happy but if you are giving jewelry gold something then he will what he will do like so like this they always used to speak Trivikram Maharaj to Suar, Suar the always uh, 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 knows about stool and urine he Suar always used to take uh, Suar and Suri female Suar also used to take lot of stool and urine so they don't know the actual utility of this uh, thing but you don't know the actual utility of that particular object then you that the uh, object is useless for you but first you just need to understand the utility oh I need Diksha oh give me Harinam Guruji you don't know about Guru Tattva, Vaishna Tattva nothing, no Sambandh again, nothing is there everything is empty only externally there is one thing Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna Jai Gurudev, Jai Gurudev that's uh, just like this foolish they are speaking everything is vacant they don't know even everything just like empty so they just need to understand the utility of one object then only we will get after that object but uh, we are actually now understanding about that object then only we will run after that and in those lives that Krishna Brahm is just getting uh, manifested in their eye definitely they will be running for that uh, this is actually this is actually all uh, empty false kirtan it is just speaking externally that's it that Vamsidas Babaji Maharaj has already spoken this point that one person is doing Kirtan nice Kirtan and Narutam Das Thakur Kirtan is doing etc. all the shlokas is done when all the Kirtan is done then Babaji Maharaj actually speaking with a very distressful mood he is speaking he is actually speaking the, his own heart in front of them that he is speaking that you are actually you are just you are doing just just kirtan you don't have that feeling but those who are getting that effect of that kirtan in their life 
they are actually just getting uh, broken so nice thing they have just spoken you see vamshidas baba ji maharaj speaking that you are just doing kirtan just by singing because this the effect of that kirtan those that bhav is actually getting inside his heart his heart is just becoming in broken condition his heart is just getting break, broken like a glass so so whatever actually you want to speak about that actual point so that's why i am speaking so much that uh, without uh, togetherness separation is not at all possible and without separation togetherness is not possible why it is written like this i have already told it today that externally how much uh, distressfulness you are get internally that uh, ocean of happiness material uh, or transcendental happiness that is the actual magic of krishna prem externally you can see oh all the time tears are flowing from the eyes continuously and his heart is breaking but internally you can see that there is lot of anand that's why lot of shlokas rup ko swami pad has written that uh, with the uh, regarding poison and nectar i will definitely be discussing this point some day that this krishna prem is definitely is top most because internally that nectar is there but externally it is like so much jealousy and why it's like poison so it's very strange and surprising thing to see for that object i don't have any kind of uh, togetherness with that object i don't know uh, anything about that particular object for that vishay i for that vishay i will not be crying at all and if some that crying will be coming definitely that will be artificial crying no one already told that how he can cry some other child is dead so how you will cry for that particular child so because sambandhan is not there and for that object you have just seen and you have that kind of togetherness mood you are feeling before that may be wife whatever you are just getting relatives and when they will go definitely the, that crying mood will come why because that togetherness bhav has come maybe that is a material togetherness this is actually the material world this language of material world is just like that only according to material conception definitely togetherness is there that husband and wife are there together and wife is just gone from this material world and he definitely husband will cry why because the bhav of togetherness is there if the togetherness is not there other husband is just uh, dead then there will be no uh, crying so so separation means that this kind of uh, uh, separation means that lot of uh, abhav to just get that bhav inside that when there is no togetherness then how separation will come so in their life they don't have any sep- uh, togetherness with krishna then how we can he can feel that we pralam bhav separation mood it's not possible for them how he can uh, feel that separation he haven't uh, met krishna that's why that crying mood is not coming for krishna but uh, for the those who have just got that uh, togetherness with the uh, krishna definitely they will be feeling that separation that kind of separation bhav will definitely come because he knows the actual mood and this separation all those devotees this with full vipralam bhav that's why radharani actually crying loudly with a painful mood ए मथुरा नाथ एटसेट्रा जस्ट लाइक क्राइंग हैवीली काशी काशी महाभूजो कहां आप हो कहां वेयर वेयर यू आर वेयर यू आर यू जस्ट सेव मी इन दिस सिचुएशन इन दिस कंडीशन वी आर फॉलन राधा रानी एंड महाप्रभु टेकिंग द भाव ऑफ राधा रानी इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस एंड जस्ट शोइंग अस दैट बिकॉज़ वी विल नॉट बी हैविंग अ प्रैक्टिकल एप्लीकेशन ऑफ राधा रानी इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस but because of the manifestation of mahaprabhu in front of us we can understand a bit of thing that oh so what is the condition of radha rani that is radha rani bhavi is taking mahaprabhu 
this uh, continuous crying mahaprabhu is actually the situation of mahaprabhu very painful situation we just want to understand just to see that so this with we pralambhav when mahaprabhu is crying and now my life is just need to protect it is impossible to protect my life now oh prajwasi you just to do keep on me you save me oh prajwasi you save me you just protect my life where that my pranath is there just protect me just show my pranath radharani speaking in vrindavan dham lot of uh, devotees and uh, pure vaishnavas are there and lot of uh, uh, incidents are there regarding that now today the situation is so serious then we can't understand who is like that but uh, there are lot of devotees lot of uh, incidents are there regarding that the one baba ji maharaj there is uh, this incident is not a fairy tale it's just a fact what uh, that practically we have just understood from the mouth of the prajwasis he was actually staying in kovardhan that at uh, manasi ganga that krishna das baba he just one devotee used to come to them one devotee used to come to baba ji maharaj just to take some instruction a lot of uh, baba ji just used to came to baba ji siddh baba ji maharaj and they also used to come and uh, one time what happened that uh, some devotees just uh, making one program i will definitely take you to that place this is just a fact uh, what i am speaking there is that samadhi of of baba ji maharaj also some uh, devotees are making one program that uh, we will just go to tirth like rup ko swami sanatan ko swami they don't want to go to any tirth vrindavan means everything yeah. the pure devotees the actual symptom is that they don't have any desire to go to any tirth maybe they are just making to together they will go to tirth and they were just going to each and every tirth and at last they just went to dwarka and in dwarka at that time they are just taking all the darshan taking all prasadam and it that tapt mudra in the in the body they are just getting that uh, uh, tapt mudra on their body and it is not at all rubbed for the whole life it is permanent and after that he just came back to dham praj dham and then he is just just met with the krishna das shishid krishna das baba ji man baba ji maharaj actually speaking that why you haven't come to me actually i have just gone to tirth yatra okay okay then what this uh, there on your body this actually tip tap the mudra is there actually the actually devotee is actually just taking it so i also have taken that that tap the mudra baba ji maharaj actually just by speaking him that today now no i have no relationship with you because now you have become the dwarka mehashi you are just counted in the uh, gana of uh, dwarka now you are not at all uh, under the guidance of radharani you will not come under that just by speaking like that at that point that baba ji maharaj just got mad just like mad he just come mad and i just went to the bhajan kutir and so much uh, distressful condition was there and everything all uh, eating drinking everything he stopped and after that he just uh, uh, fell on the ground and i don't and he speaking that now i don't want any kind of no because i will not be getting the lotus feet of radharani ha huh? what i will do in vrindavan this kind of virhe this separation he just uh, no bhajan he is not opening his bhajan kutir also and so much days have gone and bhajan kutir baba ji baba ji maharaj is not opening what happened whether he is died or what and he is not at all actually taking uh, any food and drinking and when they just open the door they seen that babas up till this up till his uh, voice up till his neck only his head is there and all body is just got burned up 
all body is burned up completely yeah. only his head is there with that separation mood this is the actual practical incident and there are a lot of other incidents also i have i'll just speak one to two incident so he just uh, uh, got fired up and burned up and only his uh, neck is there and he is just uh, crying with separation mood in from surya kund also he just need to go towards 5 km you just need to do go ahead this village is there in braj and there is another baba was just doing one bhajan slowly steadily at the at the time of holi he is just uh, started running and he has just uh, uh, just asking one brajwasi lali hey lali where is krishna where is krishna he is asking one uh, small girl and he is actually asking that small girl that practically that baba ji maharaj he at the time of holi in this kind of holy leela he just went into that internally he just got into that his body is actually running towards barsana are where this krishna krishna at what time uh, what point of time krishna is there and is actually why actually you are getting this kind of color on your body that small girl asking and my whole actually your whole body is just becoming full of colors then uh, they just when they see that all those brajwasis they have seen that externally he is here but internally he is there already there in barsana and in the holi he is actually he is playing with all the gopikas and radharani and this kind of color festival is going on so he is doing so lot of stories incidents are like this so, story is not it is the incident it is just a fact we are not at all speaking this fairy tales i am just speaking you the fact so bhakti no thakur feeling is all the same like that bhakti no thakur is just like is just like brajwasi he is actually asking brajwasis bhakti no thakur that you know actually where actually is krishna bhakti gone more pran rakho dekhao sri radhanath sri radhanath ho sri radhanath sri krishna can you tell me where is krishna you just give me kripa so that i can see krishna our guru varg also this kind of thing already happened there nobody knows about this point and the shila ban goswami at the time of ban goswami and bhakti prabhu puri goswami and keshav goswami at the last time and bhakti gorav vaknas goswami nobody knows they don't know the news they don't want to understand they are actually so busy in externally they are actually so much busy externally in this material world that they don't have the time to understand this point oh what has happened in there shila vaknas goswami maharaj in his life what has happened lot of uh, i just need to go lot of time there and uh, there is one bhajan kutir of their own in the village and he is such a big raj pandit he is such a big raj pandit that at least 10 to 20 months he can just easily made but what to do he is just making a very small bhajan kutir for himself very small the temple is there i have already done puja there also the by the kripa of krishna and maharaj has just called me there and the bharti maharaj also went there to that place a lot of time and already hari katha etc all they have done there lot of anand this year no vibe of nothing is there all the villages actually all that uh, aata rice everything chapati is coming from the uh, village only and so simple place is there that my heart is just uh, was full of anand there it's a very normal things are there and he is just getting all the anand there so nice hari katha kirtan was going on all recording was also there by the grip of krishna and i have gone to, to that place a lot of time it means that maybe it is in the village it is nothing there nothing is there all poor people are there and maharaj that temple of maharaj at uh, uh, there is one kund the kund is just like a tirsthan but there is one kind of pond there where maharaj ji always used to think that radha kund if the vaishnav is thinking that is radha kund definitely we also have to think like prabhupad is radha kund and sham kund and giraj govardhan with that bhav ji ne kiya tha manifested in uh, chaitanya math in chaitanya bad bhagavad has uh, manifested radha kund sham kund and giriraj maharaj every everything is there 
now actually you will be thinking that it is one kind of uh, exhibition in front of us so that will be aparad this definitely this is radha kundan shamgun only you just need to think like that because prabhupad ji has taken this prabhupad ji has just called radha kund there so what is the problem there radha kund is radha kund radha kund is there in radha kund but still it can come here in gordham also why because it is already there it is in ukeshit that the complete vastu that is the actual uh, that is the actual uh, thing of uh, complete uh, vastu that in complete uh, vastu we are actually getting habituated to that but those uh, that uh, incomplete vastu we can't have this kind of estimation that complete vastu from that complete is going on that definitely complete will be there from infinity plus infinity gives you infinity so like that so radha kun sham kun is speaking so definitely it is prabhupad is speaking that so it is definitely radha kun and sham kun and he prabhupad is just calling giriraj maharaj that that's why we are going maybe we are just going some doing some parikrama there because govardhan is very far away when i will be getting the time i will go there but i am doing every day that parikrama so vaknas goswami maharaj avar is that pond is actually thinking that uh, pond as radha kun and at the last time you will just be very very strange before just leaving his body maharaj actually speaking oh just take me to radha kun just take me to radha kun just take me to radha kun so all the sevaks what they are doing in a very at the time of just leaving his body he is such a big pandit you see such a big raj pandit that he has so much vidya he has infinity vidya in him that the big raj pandit at the at the last time just by doing naam sankirtan you see the effect of hari naam you see the effect of hari naam you see that at the last time just by doing hari naam that is just taking a stick and that sevak is just taking uh, his uh, hand and just taking him there and maharaj is actually speaking speaking to maharaj ji maharaj ji you just go to go to radha kund okay okay let's go to radha kund maharaj is speaking and slowly steadily just by taking his hand and by taking a stick in his hand and that by taking the stick and just went to that radha kund that they just went to that pond there is actually radha kund. oh oh so nice he just fell down and he just uh, taking dandwa to the radha kund they are that to that pond yes sir so you see this this is the thing this kind of bhav this is the bhav but those who have that abhav don't have any bhav inside them that they are all the time busy in material things this kind of material bhav they are busy in that like mahaprabhu at chatak parvat is where it is in there in purushottam dham he is actually mahaprabhu thinking uh, chatak parvat as govardhan definitely we will also be thinking that it is govardhan mahaprabhu always used to think that chatak parvat is govardhan and uh, niladri nilachal what actually that ocean is it is just equal to yamuna this is just like a water of yamuna he is thinking so mahaprabhu always used to think this uh, with that yamuna that he, this water is yamuna always used to just jump in the water lot of incidents are there definitely i will definitely speak about this incident that what kind of bhav mahaprabhu was getting that because this bhav is the topmost thing this bhav what mahaprabhu is got this is too topmost thing that apart from bhav nothing is there so this is not at all that easy so it is very easy to speak this point but to get that realization one by one it is very very, very much difficult so this kind of impediments just to get out of that slowly steadily just to go towards bhagwan it is so difficult and so difficult it is that those who are doing actual bhajan they only can understand this and so much difficult is definitely it is so much easy also prabhupad also krishna krishna bhajan is the most easy there is no easy procedure uh, easy than krishna bhajan because it is the actual natural dharma of atma but that artificial bhav the whatever situation we are there that is actually artificial this is for an element we are just calling it 
बट इट इज नॉट अट ऑल फॉर कृष्ण भजन वी जस्ट नीड डोंट नीड टू कॉल एनी वन कृष्ण भजन इज एक्चुअल नेचुरल धर्म ऑफ आत्मा नेचुरल फंक्शन ऑफ द सोल सो वी डोंट नीड टू गो आउटसाइड ऑल्सो इंटरनली ओनली विद दैट प्रेम भाव वी जस्ट नीड टू कॉल भगवान बट अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव इन दिस काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन वी विल बी दिस काइंड ऑफ विचार इज देयर दैट लाइक अ माउंट एवरेस्ट इज देयर एंड देर इज माउंट कैलाश देर इज माउंट कैलाश इज देयर अप टिल द फ्रॉम दैट पॉइंट ऑल्सो वी जस्ट नीड टू गो अप एंड वेयर जस्ट वी वे आर एंड प्रेजेंट एंड वेयर वी नीड टू गो At least this kind of which are is there that Maharaj, I can't do. Where we have to go and where we are at present. What is our situation now, and where we have to go? We are just in fallen condition. So this Bhakti Nath Thakur actually speaking that all those Brajwasi, hey Brajwasis, just show me that Pranath. Where he is that? Oh uh, Brajwasis, just show me that Pranath. Where that Radha Nath is there? Just show me that Radha Nath. Where he is? Bhakti Nath Thakur speaking. Now you are all Brajavasis. That Krishna is yours. Definitely you also take me with you, so that I can just take the darshan of Krishna. You also take me together with you, so that so that I can take the. I am actually at the verge of death. You just take me together, so that I can take the darshan of Krishna. Krishna Viraha. I can't even uh, face that separation to for Krishna. So this actually just become a philosophy in our life. So that. What kind of vishaya is there? It's a real luck. We are not at all feeling that. Actually, my life is just going. Maybe two to four days is there left. In this situation, I am just fallen into this condition. If prajvasis will just do creep on me, then I will get protected. Otherwise, definitely I will die with separation. That. That Krishna Viraha, I can't even uh, feel, uh, feel that, and a very less time is there that I will just leave my body. This is a very serious discussion. This kind of bhava of Mahaprabhu, this is very much uh, serious. Just in order to teach us, Mahaprabhu actually just given each and every practical abbreviation in front of us. Yes, just, just to do Rupa Nuga Bhajan. Ragana Nuga Bhajan. In order to do that. There is no, no. You just no need to go to those uh, Radha Kun Babas. They are all sahajiyas. Don't go to those cheaters. Just only do one thing. That you just uh, under the guidance of perfect Guru Vishnu. What is the actual vichar of Mahaprabhu Siddhant vichar? That bhav is there. You just go on discussing that. Slowly, steadily, you will be finding one or the other day. You will go to that situation, this condition. Maybe you will be going to that external material people, and definitely you will go towards hell. Mahaprabhu, that bhava of Mahaprabhu, you just need to understand all the time. Mahaprabhu actually speaking this. It is already spoken about Mahaprabhu. That according to your bhajan mudra, in order to teach us that his own bhajan, where actually is Krishna bhajan? And today actually we'll be just giving rest up till this to one today. We don't have time. There is actually because of the lack of time, this kind of things are happening.
Sometimes, sometimes we are getting that abhishtalabh. 